San Marino claims to be the oldest surviving sovereign state and constitutional republic in the world. According to tradition, it was founded by a Christian stonemason named Marinus in 301 AD, who escaped from the Roman Empire to seek freedom from religious persecution. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Church Planning Minute is brought to you from the base of Mount Titano in San Marino, one of the smallest countries in the world. In fact, San Marino is so small that it is one-tenth the size of New York City and it is one-fortieth the size of Rhode Island. If everyone in San Marino went to Wembley Stadium, there would be 56,318 empty seats. How's that for small? So here's what we know of San Marino so far. It's old and it's small. Sounds a lot like some of our church plants. Too small for being around so long. I despise that type of thinking. You see, here's the thing. San Marino is a powerhouse when it comes to finance and holding its own. You would think a country this small would need to depend on tourism for sustainability, but even with two million visitors a year, San Marino tourism accounts for only 2% of its cash flow. This is what San Marino reaffirms in my mind. We place too much importance on size, finance, and age when it comes to our church plants. Every church planter is asked those questions, aren't they? Question one, when did you plant? Question two, what are you running? Here's my advice, forget all that. Build the infrastructure to be healthy. That's all that matters. Reach people for Jesus, disciple them, grow them, raise them as leaders, and the money and size questions will answer themselves. And like the small country of San Marino, your church plant will be a beautiful thing.